it is fall in New Hampshire. It is brisk, which means winter's coming. And with winter comes salt, and with salt comes rusty vehicles. That's what we have up in New England, but not down south. So in today's video, I'm gonna actually fly down to Richmond Auto Auction in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm gonna take you guys with me to see if we can find some rust-free cars. Are trucks and cars cheaper down in Virginia than they are in New England? I have no idea. What are we gonna buy? Maybe something, maybe nothing. Last time we were there, we bought a Bentley. Come join me down to Virginia. Let's get going. Oh, that's a power stroke. We have like $71,000 to spend here. Hey, we got a Challenger over here. Whoa. This is on my radar. I bet 10,000 miles? Buy this. What? I think I found the gem of the day. I want this. I want to come home with this. Virginia, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels and I am at a new dealer auction, the Richmond Auto Auction. See that big giant truck? Kind of neat, you can see it right off 95. You guys are coming with me to the auction today, a whole new auction. I went last year, bought a Bentley. Today, we have like $70,000, $71,000 to spend here to see what we can come up with. Will it be a Ferrari? Will it be another Bentley? Maybe another Aston Martin? I have no idea. You guys are gonna find out with me. Let's go inside. So normally I have the old guy with me, Papa Al is here and he's among the favorites of the viewers. Papa Al's replaced today with my father, Papa Kev. We're both down in Virginia today. What is are you saying? Right? I'm not one of the favorites of the viewers? Well, you're not in the videos enough to be a favorite yet. So well, maybe after this video, you don't hurt my feelings. we'll take a vote and see how you did. Great. So today we are at the Virginia Auto Auction, which is where we were at a year ago when they had their classic car sale, which is where I bought my Bentley. I had already mentioned that. They had a gigantic tent all the way over here with lots of lots of really cool cars. The tent isn't here this year because they're not doing the classic car sale. So we're on the hunt for some toys. Something cool. Yeah, I mean, I got all my interest on these special interest cars and how to waste my money from you, really. All these habits and yeah. hobbies came from you. Bad habits. Some would say that. Some would say otherwise. The good thing about being in Virginia, no rust. Like, let's check out that Maserati, right? We're just going to dive right into it. We're not in a rust belt anymore, right? No, right. Yeah, so like New England, everything is destroyed. Every suburban I buy is disgusting. Before I even go to that Maserati, I'm going to that right there. If that is an excursion with a power stroke with no rust, I'm all over it. Look at that, 324,000 miles. I'm assuming it is a power stroke. Here's what's wild. Ready? I don't get this, and I think you're gonna appreciate this. Coming from the same place and same region. Even the paint's pretty good. Look at down. those rocker panels. That is unbelievable. We don't get this at home. I don't even care that it has 300,000 miles. It even has the old barn doors. So open this, open this. Yeah, those are cool. That is neat. Yeah. Wow. But the big thing, like, look at the bumpers yeah. aren't rotted. Yeah. We live in the wrong part of the country to be car guys. I feel like this is a V10. We're going to start it up right now. Now, the other thing is these V10s get crazy manifold leaks and they're really expensive to replace. And that's where I live. I don't know if it's like that in a rust free area. Oh, that's a power stroke. That's a power stroke. This is on my radar for tomorrow. Maybe I don't even need to take the flight home. We'll power stroke it all the way back. This is cool. Alrighty, first find, 324,000 miles. I don't even care. I want to see those rockers one more time. Now, most of you aren't even from my region, so you probably don't appreciate non-rust free cars like I do because you're just used to that. But our cars get destroyed by the salt. They just get ruined. The engine will run forever, but the body rots away. All right, here we go. Maserati. Doesn't really suit my fancy. These things are on a Chrysler 300 platform. Really? I think so. Don't quote me. If you guys know any different, I believe they're on a Chrysler 300 platform. What engine does this have? This will tell me if it actually is on the Chrysler platform or not. All right, it is a V6, three liter V6. It does it's say Maserati. Turbo, is it? No, it's not. The closest to an Italian sports car I have is an 86 Alfa Romeo. Hey, okay, this is gonna turn into a video about me commenting on how rust-free everything is. This rots away where I'm from. This all rots away where I'm from. And it is not all rotten. I'm gonna try to not just keep saying that the whole video. Sneak preview, I actually already have this car and it is a complete rat, reconstructed title, not this one, mine. 
whole video I gambled on. That'll come out soon. You're gonna find out if I won or if I lost. They're hard to stay away from because they look so good. Yeah, they look good and they're inexpensive until they smoke out of the exhaust, right. but this one doesn't. You can tell by the pipe. Wow, you will see what I mean when my BMW video comes out. This dash pad is necessary. Oh my God, it's glued on. It's necessary. And if you stay tuned to my BMW video, you'll see why. Something about that is calling my name. What's inside there? Sure. This is not a Mercedes chassis. This is a Chevy full-size international oh, chassis. International? Yeah, okay. this is a truck and it's already been converted. Check this out. Look, it already has the 220 over there, or the 30 amp, the 30 amp right there. Go inside. Someone took a bus, like I wanted to do if I had more time. Oh, this is like a restaurant or something. They put a restroom here, this they put a, a fridge, uh, they put a fry a later. Yeah, somebody made a food truck out of this. Well, that is cool. And then they vinyl wrapped everything. You know, strangely, I bet there's a giant market for this thing. I was hoping for more like special interest stuff, so I hope they pop up somewhere in here. This is part of our Ferrari flip series I was hoping. I don't want to disappoint. All right, here we go. What's this? Is it a six cylinder with wheels and a spoiler or is it something special? There's duct tape on it. That's not a good sign. That looks like a six cylinder. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. That is a six cylinder that somebody did some bought. They had a good taste. At least they did it tastefully and not tacky like if it was a Challenger. Looks like the duct tape on the roof is blocking a hole. You know what? I bet you're right. These bullet holes? That's a big hole. <laughs> Holy moly. It doesn't go all the way through. That's a like an upset girlfriend Damn. with a knife. Now these are cool, RC350s. Toyota came back with the Supra, right? But it's a BMW. All this is a BMW rebadged with Toyota. This is what should have been the Supra. It's the right size, it's the right shape. They could have really made some cool stuff out of this and actually made it a Toyota. Camaro. But it's not a Supra, it's a BMW. Another Camaro, 7LE, in a standard transmission. Wanna fire this puppy up? Let's shoot under the... Ooh, I wonder where the engine cover's missing on everything. And I don't know what 7LE is. I try to provide as many answers as I can to you guys, but I reach out to you to tell me when you know things that I don't. What is a 7LE? Oh, 1LE, yeah, right? That's a 1LE. I like the Alcantara interior on a six-speed transmission. I think somebody did coilovers in this. Check out the yeah, for sure powers. they did. These are the things I want to bring back home. Same thing, they bubble and just destroy there. Looks like it's been here a while though, because they... Yeah, multiple cut stickers on the stickers windshield. And put on yeah. some new ones. You can so. usually tell by how many stickers have been removed yeah. or how faded they are. Something my father brought to my attention is the old body style Suburban. Some of the best Suburbans ever to hit the market. This is an 04 with 84,000 miles and no rust. This thing is probably worth triple where I'm from if I could get this back home. It is unbelievable. No bubbling, yeah, original bumpers, original dog one. legs. Yeah, like the value of this comparative to a Ferrari is I'll sell this a hundred times over a Ferrari. It's a 5.3 and I'm thinking we should make regular trips to Virginia. Now all of these, you'll see GSA on that windshield, government fleet vehicles. So they were all government cars, typically maintained government cars and they run here. And a lot of times they're open to the public so the public can come in and buy the US GSA sale vehicles. So government cars, you can buy them without dealer licenses, which is really cool. I'll do a whole video about how you, without dealer's licenses, can buy that stuff. It's really neat. And then a lot of times, like, there's no dealer fees, and sometimes those weren't even titled. They'll transfer the original MSO right over to you. Out of all the Maseratis, this is the last one I'd ever buy. These things are rough, and they are cheaply made. Like, it's a Maserati, and look at the fingerprints on here. Now, that isn't the car's fault, but that is the car's fault. Look at how the Italian leather wears. Oh, yeah. The airbag, like, starts to roll right here. Heat does that, yeah. But then even, like, everything just kind of makes noise. It's creaky and just feels cheap for an expensive car. The visors are Velcroed because these things don't hold up. All right, this is big bucks anywhere in the country. If this was a turbo, I'd buy in a heartbeat. If you can find a PT Cruiser that is a turbo PT Cruiser, that's the same car as the SRT4 Dodge Neons. Oh, really? Yeah, and you get them in five speeds. They're crazy fast. Oh my goodness, this is one of them. You can get this in a 2.4 liter turbo, manual transmission, convertible. They rip. This is a touring. This is an automatic, but that 2.4 liter turbo is the same as an SRT4. Yeah. It's really like something cool out of something not so cool. My students love these. I'd buy this just to make a project out of it. This would be a like kind of a cool project. We could put some cool wheels on it. I feel like this is right up your alley. This is something you would pick out. These and Beetles. I'm amazed you didn't say anything about it. Wow, look at that, ready? I didn't Somebody put some serious coin into this car. Right here, this is all gonna kick up rock. The cars behind them on the highway and chip cars and break windshields. I like the spoiler they added on this Polaris slingshot. Kinda neat looking, I don't usually like these spoilers. Oh, good. 
Look at how they put it on. I like the steering wheel too. I think they'd be fun once, maybe twice. Actually, peak summer, like July, August, I had one. Loved it. It was like driving a go-kart everywhere I went. I had so much fun in it. Didn't get old? Not at all. No, in a standard transmission, I had an absolute blast in it. The only thing is like in the sunny days, this cooks your back. These get really, really hot. And in the morning, the morning dew gets oh, on yeah, the seats, soaks you your gotta back. Go Roger. Yeah, you gotta what go do you Roger. Think? 25 grand? Probably, yeah. 2016. That's no, probably more like 16, 17,000. What about a windscreen, windshield on these, Craig? Is that legal? Do you need to wear glasses or helmets? Yeah, so I did have a windshield on mine. And what happens is like where I sit, the stock factory windshield is perfect eye level. So what I was staring at was this right here. So you can actually get a cover that covers and puts a full size windshield on. And it's better that way, but you don't get the wind in your eyes like if you're looking for a motorcycle ride. Oh, I don't want a Panamera. I want this over here. I think I found the gem of the day. This right here is a Fair Lady, a 300ZX with t-tops is it an automatic or is it a standard it is a standard the problem is i would freaking keep this car i don't need another 90s car but i want it oh my goodness i would absolutely buy this this is a really straight 300 zx with t-tops i had a jdm one so it was right hand drive most fun car i've ever had it wasn't fast it was just really comfortable reliable it was 100 percent stock this is on my radar for tomorrow i want this i want to come home with this 201,000 miles imagine that when nissan made a good car whoa twin turbo this is a twin turbo 300 z which in a standard transmission that's clean oh man another car to add to my I don't need another car. This I will absolutely bid on tomorrow. So it's actually in pretty solid shape, but the clutch does feel like it might need some attention. I completely looked past this. A 2003 GMC, is this a Denali? It is a Denali, 64,000 miles. It's like I jumped back 10 years. Right. I can't believe this stuff is here and it's this clean. Look at those wheels. These things are worth so much money at home. That's why I'm so fascinated by it. <laughs> I do like these. I've owned one and it got old pretty quickly, but they are neat. And they were supposed to be like the first four door supercar before the Urus and all the other cars like the SUVs came out. This in the twin turbo all wheel drive was supposed to be the family supercar that you could buy when they first came out. Where's the key for this quick? Other side. Hey, can I show you something real cool about that? Yeah. Hold the key out. You notice the shape of the key? Yeah. It's the same shape of the car. Of the car, yeah. Hey, we got a Challenger over here. Oh my goodness. Chrysler Fifth Avenue, we gotta go check that out. Now I made a joke about these earlier because everyone I see, the young drivers usually have like an affliction tight t-shirt on and there's decals stuck everywhere on the car, on the wheels, on the tires, inside the car. This looks like a factory TA. Do you know what TA stands for? I bet you're gonna guess wrong. Yeah, who's the drive them? TA stands for time attack. Some people think it stands for a track attack. Track Some action. people think track action. Trans Some people think Trans Am. It's time attack. There's something really cool about the TA. Check this out. Going to the front. This is my favorite part of these. This is forced induction. He got me. I should have known better. This is forced induction, air induction, not like supercharged induction, but air induction here and right here, which is kind of neat. They didn't come with a shaker on these. They came on the 392s, which this is. This is a pretty cool car. Let's check out the Fifth Avenue. So you know who had one of these when you kids were small? My great grandfather. Yes, I think he had this one. It looked just like it. Same color and everything. Yeah. This is one of the ultimate grandpa cars. I bet 10,000 miles? 10,000 miles? By this. What? You have to buy this. Bring it home. His mom. Look at that seat. Oh my goodness. I remember those. I can't imagine a more comfortable chair than this Ray. It smells like mothballs. Yep. Could be 110, which is probably more realistic. Look at the interior of this car. Avoid smoke out the exhaust. All right, while we're on the topic of rust free cars, here's a Jeep Wrangler. Jeep Wranglers beyond like 2011, I can't even buy them in New Hampshire. Again, rusty comments. It's just weird to see cars without rust. I'm not over it yet. Here's another survivor, something that doesn't exist where I live 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee with 200,000 miles and old faithful four liter straight six engine. These were the cars to have back then. And once again, yeah, they don't exist where I'm from. Hey, I found some of the cool ones. Looks like we got like a 65, 66 Mustang right here in a four speed, a three speed actually, 65. That is running through in a few days. And then this caught my eye from afar. Wouldn't mind bringing this home, a 92 Camaro. Is it a Z28? It is a Z28, 116,000 miles. Reupholstered interior, but it's really clean. And then 
What's this, like a 54 Ford? No sticker on it, I'm not quite sure. I'd be really impressed if I was right about the year. And then a Bronco. All right, here we go. The fun stuff's been hiding. What is this right here? I don't even know, like a 38 Ford two-door. This is sweet. Wow. <laughs> What's that doing in there? Wow, that is really cool. I love that they kept the rear wheel on it. 1936. And then we also have a 1930 Ford Model T. -ish. All right, it's six o'clock at the auction. I have multiple videos that I'm doing here. Like I said, this is their anniversary sale. So they invited us down to check out some rust-free cars, to check out their auction. We came here last year and bought some really, really neat stuff. Now we're gonna go inside and enjoy ourselves because they have a platter for us. They have a spread and drinks and a band. We're gonna see Spin Doctors, if you like to tell me a bit you know that band maybe you do maybe you don't depending on your age we're gonna go inside have a good time tomorrow we're gonna come back here and see what cars are selling for you're gonna join us for that as well so if you hit the bell down below you get notifications so you can see the next video also all of these cars are government sale cars which i think are available to the public you could probably buy them online too so i'm gonna find more about this tonight and make a whole video on how you can buy cars at auction prices that were government vehicles like the dealers do without having a dealer's license that's pretty neat too let's go inside and have a good time now it's time to party let's go inside and see what they got for us these are the lanes where the cars usually run through check out this spread he's already enjoying we got brisket we got pulled pork we got chicken we got mac and cheese we have fully catered open bar with gets even better entertainment it's good mac and cheese mm -hmm. we'll get it That's a wrap for night one of Richmond Auto Auction. Tomorrow is the auction and we're gonna buy some stuff, I hope. Rust-free stuff. Let's go home, get some shut-eye tomorrow. Whole new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, episode two. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later. Adios.